Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. God has given us unlimited treasures in his word. Every time we open it, we can discover a new treasure or admire an old one. What will we find today? Here's Carla Early with Treasure Hunt in the Word. Most of my listeners are in the U.S., though I have a few in Ireland I'd love to hear from. If there's anyone else from a different country, let me know. But whatever country you were born into, you have privileges and responsibilities related to citizenship. Apparently, it wasn't always like that for the people in the Roman Empire. Roman citizenship was a coveted thing and came with lots of privileges. They had the right to vote, eligibility to run for public office, and the right to join the military. They had rights connected with their property, inheritance, contracts, and other things. In the courts, they had a right to appeal court decisions, sue someone, have a trial, They couldn't be beaten or tortured without a trial, and no Roman citizen could be sentenced to crucifixion. Since our friend Paul from Acts was a Roman citizen, we see how many of those privileges played out in his life. Once in Philippi, he allowed the authorities to beat him and throw him into prison without pulling that citizen card. Yet if he had, he may not have met the Philippian jailer who got saved that night. When the magistrates came for him the next morning to let him go, Paul totally freaked them out by revealing his Roman citizenship. They could have gotten into a lot of trouble if he chose to sue them. They pleaded with him to leave in peace, which allowed the missionaries to leave town with dignity and gave the new church there an added measure of respect. Later in Jerusalem, Paul pulled the Roman citizen card when the Roman commander was about to flog him. The commander seemed quite impressed, saying he'd had to pay a bundle for his citizenship. From then on, they treated Paul with respect. Later, Paul, as a Roman citizen, chose to appeal his case before Caesar, and off to Rome he went. Tradition tells us that Paul was finally beheaded because Roman citizens were allowed a quick, respectful death, as opposed to a slow, agonizing one, like crucifixion. No wonder Paul talks about our heavenly citizenship. He tells us in Galatians 2.19, You are no longer strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God. With our citizenship, we have responsibilities and privileges. We are his children, his heirs. As such, we are free. We have access to God's power, authority, and promises. We have our sins forgiven. And ultimately, Paul reminds us in Philippians 3, 20 and 21, Our citizenship is in heaven, from which we also eagerly wait for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our lowly body, that it may be conformed to his glorious body. But we also have responsibilities to represent the Lord in all we say and do to know and follow his truth, to imitate him, to be a light in the dark world, to submit to the Lord and to one another, to be obedient to him, to abide in him, to put his kingdom first in all things. What other privileges and responsibilities can you think of? Are you being a responsible citizen of the kingdom of God? How could you be a better citizen? And are you taking advantage of all the benefits? You can contact us at treasurehuntintheword at gmail.com. We'd love to hear the treasures God has given you through his word. You can listen to other episodes on our website, which you can find in the description below. Thank you for listening. And remember, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also.